a frightening crash. A local business will need to be rebuilt after a car slammed right through the storefront tonight. The owner and his son were inside. Now he tells us it was divine intervention that kept them safe. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnick joins us live from Pawtucket with tonight's top local story. Karen, the owner's son, jumped out of the way of that car just in the nick of time. He has been brought to Memorial Hospital tonight for treatment of minor injuries, but it did happen here at this candy shop off Central Ave around 545 tonight. Tonight, the store's owner believes a higher power was looking down on them. A dramatic scene on Central Ave in Pawtucket Thursday as a car smashes right through the door of a candy shop. The car finally coming to rest inside the store, candy from heaven. I was actually just getting out of bed, and I, it actually threw me to the floor. Tenants above the store describe it as an earthquake. The driver of the car says he was bringing a sandwich home to his wife when he swerved to avoid another car. All of a sudden, I see somebody coming through a stop sign on Downs, Down Street. I kept uh, trying to avoid him, went to my left, kept going to my left, and I went through the, the building of the Candies from Heaven. Inside the store, the owner, Nick Hindi, and his son Jason, who was taken to the hospital with a leg injury. Both were behind the counter at the time. Jason jumped out of the path of the car, but was clipped by the counter. They were pretty much pinned into the corner of the store. Uh, both of them okay, thank God. My son saw it coming. If he didn't see it coming, believe me when I say it, he'd probably be in heaven with Lori right now. Lori is the owner's daughter who the store is named after. She died of cancer nearly 13 years ago. And now both the owner and driver believe she was looking down on them. The reason we're okay is because of Lori. She definitely gave us a warning. Jay turned around, saw it, immediately jumped towards me and got out of the way. And back live here tonight, as for those tenants, we've told that they've been allowed back in that building, which is safe tonight. There are no charges against that driver, and tomorrow police will be meeting that on that at the Traffic Bureau. As for that son of the owner, he's been brought once again to Memorial Hospital, where we're told he is in stable condition tonight. Reporting live from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from Pawtucket, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.